gonna do the snowshoe caddis. We're gonna use snowshoe rabbit foot for the wing and head ruff for the caddis. Tan dyed grizzly hackle for the hackle. For the body, we'll use chartreuse ice stub or caddis green colored ice stub. The hook will be a TMC 100 in a size 16. And we'll use tan Wapsi Unithread in 70 denier. All right, let's tie the snowshoe caddis. We'll start at size 16, TMC 100 in the vise. A little bit of Dave's Flex Cement. And lay down a solid layer of thread to the point right over the barb of the hook. Now we're gonna grab our ice stub. This is a really simple fast fly. Great fly to fish the evening caddis hatch. Works great as a dry fly. Also works really well as a wet fly or as a sunken fly. I fished it under an indicator. I fished it as part of a three fly check rig. In addition to fishing it as a dry where it certainly catches me plenty of fish. See we just used the ice stub dubbed on to make a nice plump little green caddis body. We're going to select a little ginger colored snowshoe rabbit foot here. I'm going to trim out a nice little clump from right on the underside of the foot. We've got a nice translucent clump of hair like that. We don't need all that. Enough there for wings for a couple of, a couple more caddis actually. There we go. I'll take that hair. You don't have to stack it or do anything. Just tie it in directly on top of the hook shank. So, elevate it a bit, wrap a little wedge in front. We're going to leave that front tuft long and, until the hackle is wrapped because we're going to use it to help skate the fly. This fly will really skate and, and skitter across the surface because the, hair, the snowshoe hair is very, very high flotation material. And the way this fly is tied, it's a very light, very good skating fly. That said, I also fish it wet. And it, it works really well when caddis are laying eggs. Take and just wrap a few turns of hackle behind the wing, one or two in front. And tie it off. So, trim off your excess hackle. Whip finish. You have to brush stuff out of the way sometimes to whip finish, that's okay. Make sure you get it right. There we go. Just make sure everything's tightened up there. off those excess fibers, cut your thread, trim the head a little shorter, spread that wing out. Treat that up with a good paste fly floating first and then after you've caught a couple fish on it, dunk it in dry shake and get right back to catching fish. That's the snowshoe caddis. Great fly for skitter and easy fly to tie. Hope you have some good luck with it. Get more at renoflyshop.com.